Privacy is something Americans have held dear since 1792, when the Founding Fathers adopted the Fourth Amendment into the U.S. Constitution. In continuing with that right, protecting our communication through the digital age is something many people wish to do. However, given the inherent nature of how our email system works, many people have a false sense of security regarding its privacy. In order to combat this problem, a group of people have put together an encryption system called PGP, or Pretty Good Privacy. Today, I'm going to show you how to install and use this piece of encryption software. Now, I'm not going to waste time walking you through the installation of everything, because it's generally pretty straightforward. Instead, I'm going to concentrate on the important stuff. First off, where do you get the software you need to install? I'm placing links in the description for all OS's, Mac, Linux, and Windows. I'm going to be using GNUPG. Click here to download for your OS. Install the software following the prompts. When you get to the screen asking you which apps you want to install, choose them all. Once installed, you're going to launch Cleopatra. Click File, New Certificate. Choose Create a Personal Open PGP Key Pair. Type in your name and email address, then click Advanced Settings. We're going to select DSA and drop down the Egg Plus Eglamel drop down menu to choose the highest encryption level possible of 4096 bits. Choose Authentication and click OK. Click Next, click Create Key. Input a strong password containing upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Make sure you remember the password. Make a backup of your key pair that you can keep safe. Next, you'll need to export your public key to give to other people. People have to have your public key in order to send you encrypted emails. So don't be afraid to give it out to anybody who may want it. To create your public key, launch GPA. Right click on the key you just created and choose export keys. Give it a name, for example, public key at your email address dot txt and save it to your desktop for easy access. Check it to make sure that it is your public key. Then you can give it away to everybody you know. Now to send somebody an encrypted message, you're going to need their public key. So make sure you get their public key from them and import it into the GPA application. To encrypt the message, launch GPA. Click clipboard, type out your message, click encrypt, choose your key so that you can decode it yourself later on and choose the recipient's public key so that they can decrypt it when they receive the email. Copy and paste the encrypted message into the body of your email and send it. It's important to note that nothing is 100% secured. Given enough time and information, anything can be cracked. That's no reason to make it easy. Make sure you create a strong password for the encryption process. Thanks for watching this episode. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe and check out my other video on protecting yourself from possible backdoors with MPGP encryption. Thanks again.